Hello and a very good morning to all my dear students and pranam to all my dear teacher friends. So children, how are you? After a long time, I am meeting you through this virtual studio. I hope all of you are fine and you must be enjoying good health by the grace of Almighty God. Okay, so one thing I would like to ask you children, what for I am here? Can you guess? Okay, before doing that, let me introduce myself. Myself, Anjali Sahu and I am from Government High School, Gurhiyali, which is in Lahudipada block of Sundargarh district. So children, I welcome you all to this virtual studio at District Education Office, Sundargarh. And any guesses why I am here today? Any guesses? Yes. I am here before you dear children for a class and that is of English. You know, you are going to appear your annual exam very soon and I hope all of you must be preparing very well. Isn't it? Okay. Keep it on. Okay. So children, today before going to the text in detail, I would like to show you something first of all. Okay. And I hope all of you must be enjoying to see that. So, here we go. Yes. Now, look at this. What are you are able to see here? See, there are some earthen lamps lighted and see some earthen lamps lighted brightly. Okay. And any guesses? When do we Indians do this. When do we Indians light some lamps and fire some crackers? Yes? Yes. It is Diwali. It is on Diwali. Okay. Now, let me see you. Let me show you. Yes. Any guesses? What is it? What is it? Yes, come on. Any guesses? See. How many colors? See, vibrant colors. Yes or no? Recently you must have enjoyed this festival. Just one or two weeks ago. Yes. Any guesses? Yeah. Yes. Very right. It is holy. It is holy. So, isn't it a nice festival to enjoy? Children, for you it is a definitely, it is a very enjoying festival. All over India, I am sure. And, yes. Now look at this. Yes, please look at this. Any guesses? What is it? See how snow has fallen. And what is it? This is the Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree. Okay. Any guesses children? Christmas tree. So, see. This is the festival which we celebrate in the month of December. And on 25th of December. Now guess what is that? Name that festival. Yes. Nothing but Christmas. Nothing but Christmas. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I have something more to show, to show you. Yes. Yeah. Are you able to see now? Are you able to see? Yes. See. What you are able to see? Any guesses? Can you say? The Ravana. See how many heads are there. And somebody from here. And trying to put fire onto this devil. Yes or no? In Odia, what do we say that? Ravana Podi. Ravana Podi. Isn't it? And when do we celebrate this? Yes. None other than but the occasion of Dashera. None other than but the occasion of Dashera. Yes. 
it is a very enjoying for festival for almost all the people all over the country isn't it yes now yes i do have something more to show you yes see look at this black cloud and a very brightly shining moon a very brightly brightly shining moon what is written what is it written eid mubarak eid yes guess these are the festivals this festival is observed almost all over the country especially by the muslims isn't it yes it is the festival of eid so children you must be thinking what a country we have what a country you we have yes we are fortunate enough we are really fortunate and every moment we must be thankful to god that oh almighty god you have given us birth in such a wonderful country which is the land of festivals and fairs almost in every month throughout the year we celebrate a number of festivals isn't it and what do we do in these festivals yes we enjoy a lot we have lots of fun sometimes we burn fire sometimes we fire crackers sometimes we put a, put on colors to one another yes so children <laughs> these are all the festivals that almost we are quite well acquired well known about it but children do you ever think of such places in our country like that of the north eastern region north eastern region yes let me show you something before going into the text okay so children today we will know some more interesting facts about the festivals of north east india festivals of north east india see we know dipavali we know holi we know eid we know christmas we know many other festivals but very few of us we know about the festivals that is or that are celebrated in the north eastern parts of india so children today's topic is what festivals of north east india okay now let me help you to get a clear cut idea about the north eastern region of india okay <coughs> yes now what is it yes nothing but the map of our beautiful country isn't it so children this is the map of our country geographically our country looks like this okay now you see i am going to show you something okay now yeah you tell me see this is almost as we know the northern part of our country and these are the southern part of our country yes or no and children these are the eastern parts of our country whereas these are the western parts of our country yes or no okay so children we will know more about the festivals of this particular region which is known as the north eastern region of india okay <coughs> now yes okay so let us start the text yes the north east is a collective name for the eastern most parts of india representing both a geographic and administrative division of the country the region comprises eight states namely arunachal pradesh assam manipur meghalaya mizoram 
Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. See, children, togetherly, all these states, they are unanimously given one name. They are unanimously, togetherly given one name and that is Northeastern region. And this Northeastern region is geographically to some extent seems to be a different part. But actually it is no way different. It is no way different. It is nothing but a very very prominent and attractive part of our country. And this particular Northeast region, it consists of eight states. It consists of eight states. Yes, what are the states? See, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Sikkim and Tripura. Okay, so these eight states, they are togetherly known as what? The northeastern region of our country. And <coughs> the contiguous seven states, the contiguous seven states, contiguous means touching one another, very close to one another, okay? So sharing one boundary, okay? Yeah, so the contiguous seven states, see out of these eight states, seven states are contiguously placed in one place, okay? So what are those? Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. See, these are the seven states which are placed almost at one place and sharing their boundaries with one another. Okay, let me repeat the names once again. <coughs> Arunachal Pradesh, yes. Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. And these seven states which are very close to one another, these seven states are commonly given one name. They are commonly described as the land of seven sisters. They are commonly described as the land of seven sisters. See, sisters they seem to be quite similar to one another and we almost live in one family together in one house. So just to give us that feeling that they are very close with one another, that's why. Probably that's why this kind of name might have been given. So the land of seven sisters. Okay. Now, <clears throat> see, they are commonly known as land of seven sisters. Now, why they are given a common name? Because of their interdependence on each other. What is interdependence? Means depending upon one another. Like somebody is coming to the help of somebody else. Then only the other person also comes and helps. So, dependence. See, in a family, we are all dependent upon one another. Like our parents. No doubt they have given birth to us. But to some extent or to a great extent, we the children are dependent upon our parents. But our parents are also dependent upon us. Okay. So there is interdependence everywhere. Everywhere. All around the world. Starting from the family to the world. If you can see interdependence is there everywhere. And that is why probably we are able to live a smooth and easy going life. Wherever there will be no interdependence, definitely there will be certain quarrels, there will be certain disturbances. Okay. So, because of the interdependence, interdependence of these seven states upon one another, they are given one common name. And what is that common name? Land of seven sisters. Okay. On the other hand, Sikkim is geographically not a contiguous part of the Northeast region. See, as I told you earlier, it is also mentioned in your text, there are eight states in 
the north eastern region but seven are there togetherly placed one is separated from them now which is that state yes sikkim sikkim is the state which is a bit far away from these land of seven sisters okay and it is separated from the north east by siliguri corridor it is separated which is separated yes sikkim sikkim is separated from the other seven states because of this siliguri corridor yes let me give you a very small idea about siliguri siliguri is a city which is in west bengal but it is such a kind of place like it is a narrow passage which connects many places like nepal bhutan and bangladesh sikkim assam many places some states of our country and some other neighboring countries they are all togetherly joined in that place so that is why siliguri is known as the siliguri corridor just like a narrow passage it is just like a narrow passage don't worry i am going to show you the picture of that okay so that it will help you to develop clarity okay now <clears throat> so the siliguri corridor is the main reason due to which sikkim is separated from the rest of the seven states of north eastern region okay now land of seven sisters yes children see what is it yes this is the map of assam okay and you see what is it yes people are plucking tea leaves yes okay so the state of assam which is very very famous for producing tea in our country so see this is the picture of the state representing the cultivation of tea tea plantation is a great great business in that state okay now <coughs> moving to the second state of the seven sisters land of seven sisters is the arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh yes dear children yes this is the map of arunachal pradesh okay and you see how beautiful is the landscape yes it is a heavenly like place it is a heaven like place dear children and i'm sure you will certainly enjoy the natural beauty there okay yes let us see the maps of some other states which are there in the group of land of seven sisters yes what is that yes it is tripura tripura okay yes now you see wow what a beautiful picture isn't it yes the landscape you see <coughs> it is a place of nature natural beauty in the full of natural beauty okay when you will grow up if you are getting a chance to move to those states children i make a sincere request do visit the place and have the fun there enjoy the beauty there and another state that is in the group of land of seven sisters is yes none other than nagaland and you see these girls yes the dancing girls yes the girls of nagaland see how they are all dressed up see look at their ornaments how colorful yes or no yes and now this is the state of manipur yes manipur is also the state which is included in the land of seven sisters and you see how they have dressed themselves and performing the manipuri dance and presenting a drama of radha and krishna of radha and krishna manipuri dance you must have seen this many times i'm sure and you must be knowing also yes people yes the famous dance of manipur it is known as the manipuri dance and that is what yes that is the map of mizoram that is the map of mizoram and see the beautiful picture yes 
nature's beauty you can enjoy their plentifully plentifully i am damn sure about it okay yes wow what a fantastic state yep meghalaya what is it meghalaya and see the beautiful scenery here the beautiful scenery here okay okay now children i have told you now i will help you understand the place which is known as siliguri corridor see yes see this red marked area are you able to see yes you see just above this is sikkim this is sikkim okay this is sikkim and and you see this area is bangladesh and this is bhutan and rest of the parts of us see rest of the parts of our north eastern region lies here like arunachal pradesh assam okay tripura here manipur nagaland mizoram so this place is a common place which connects all these places see bhutan which is the neighboring country of our country that is also connected here and bangladesh that is also connected here and sikkim sikkim is our state sikkim is our state and it is also in the north eastern region but because of this narrow path this is quite separated from this region okay <coughs> now yes so children i hope all of you must have developed a good idea about the land of seven sisters and the state of sikkim which is a bit separated from the rest seven states of the north eastern region of india okay now yes let us move ahead yes children the north eastern region of india is a place of diverse cultures the different communities and their tribes of north east india celebrate their unique festivals with great enthusiasm and joy with great enthusiasm and joy many of these festivals are based on agriculture many of these festivals are based on agriculture and no celebration is complete without traditional music and dance no celebration is complete without traditional music and dance so children the north eastern region of india is a place of diverse culture diverse means what different types you can see different types of culture things there okay and the different communities and tribes there are people belonging to different communities now what is communities people living together following living together in the same place following some similar type of characteristics following some similar type of traditions okay so the different communities and tribes of north east india they celebrate their unique festivals unique means not similar with anything else very very special type very very special type okay so they have their festivals they have a good number of festivals no doubt but they are all very very unique they are all very very unique means very special not similar to any other kind of festival okay and they celebrate it with great enthusiasm and joy see they celebrate it with a great deal of interest eagerness and willingness just to have fun not only to have fun but also to carry on their traditions generation after generation okay and you see children one more thing 
many of these festivals the north eastern festivals most of them or many of them are based on agriculture they are based on agriculture see in our state odisha we do celebrate many festivals which are also based on agriculture like noakhai yes or no we celebrate it with the great pomp and joy on the occasion of noakhai what we do we offer the firstly harvested crops to the goddess and then we pray for the well being of all our family members and our nearest and dear in the same way the people of north eastern region they also celebrate most of their festivals which are based on agriculture or which are directly or indirectly related to the system of agriculture okay and you see no celebration almost no celebration is complete without what yes traditional music and dance traditional music and dance see it has a different kind of rhythm it gives us lot of pleasure so the festivals will seem to be the festivals will seem to be just incomplete and colorless if we don't add any traditional music or dance into it that's why i think we are really we the indians are very special because of our traditional music and dance okay let us move ahead see placed with greenery and the mighty river brahmaputra the people of assam have a lot to celebrate see the people of assam they have a lot to celebrate and the people of assam they celebrate a lot not only because of having fun but also maintaining their traditional tune maintaining their tradition and culture generation after generation and assam have a lot to celebrate bihus are among the major cultural festivals of assam yes the festival of bihu the festival of bihu yes it is one of the major cultural festivals of assam and do you know children <coughs> they are they mean the bihu festival they are a series of three prominent festivals one is kongali bihu and the other one is the rangali bihu and the other one is bhogali bihu okay see like in our state what we do specially during the time of rajo what we do we celebrate and have fun for full 3 days and also during the, during the time of dashera we celebrate and have fun for at least 4 to 5 days like ashtami navami dashmi before that sashti and saptami also we have lots of fun so this means these festivals are not only celebrated for one day but they but also celebrated for some days together but there is a bit of difference and what is that see the bihu festival the bihu festival is celebrated in three uh, they are celebrated in three prominent phases okay the first one is rangali bihu and the next one is kongali bihu and the next one is bhogali bihu rangali bihu is also known as bohag bihu rangali bihu is also known as bohag bihu and it is celebrated in the mid of april in the mid of april with the onset of spring onset means arrival with the arrival of the spring season the in the mid of april the festival of rangali bihu is celebrated with great pomp and joy and enthusiasm all over the state of assam and it marks what it marks the beginning of the sowing season sowing means planting the small small plants the sowing season and 
not only it marks the beginning of sowing season dear children it also marks the start of a new year there new year okay so the rongali bihu is the beginning of it marks the beginning of sowing season as well as the new year there and the next one is kongali bihu see kongali bihu it is otherwisely known as kati bihu it is otherwisely known as kati bihu is celebrated in the month of october it is celebrated in the month of october when the fields are lush lush means what thickly and well grown all over the fields crops are all well and well grown very thickly grown but the barns are empty the barns means the vessels the pots where the harvested crops will be brought and put there the barns are all empty at that time yes of course because crops are not yet ha harvested okay so this kongali bihu is celebrated in between what in between the sowing season and the harvested season okay so it is celebrated in the mid of october and on this occasion people light lamps and pray to god for a thriving harvest season and to guide souls to heaven see during the time of kongali bihu people do what they pray to god o oh, almighty god bless us with a very successful harvest and please guide our souls to heaven and the last one is children the last one is in the series of bihu festival the last one is the bhogali bihu it is also known as magh bihu and it is observed in mid january it is observed in mid january and the festival symbolizes the end of harvest season yes now when bhogali bihu is observed when it is observed it is observed when the crops are all harvested and the festival symbolizes the end of the harvest season it symbolizes the end of harvest season it is a thanksgiving it is a way it is a way through which the assamese people <coughs> they convey their thanks they convey their gratitude to the almighty god and it is a thanksgiving when crops have been harvested and the barns are all full okay yes children yes map of assam okay are you able to see yes and this is what yes the brahmaputra river the almighty brahmaputra river okay and what is it yes a very colorful picture of the very famous almost all over the world it is very famous the famous folk dance of assam yes bihu dance see how colorfully people are all dressed and look at there what this instruments this musical instruments this is dhol and what is it look at this this is also a kind of musical instrument cymbals okay okay now let us move ahead yes any bihu celebration is considered incomplete without melodious folk without melodious folk songs and traditional dance the bihu dance is a joyous one yes children it is a joyous one it is a wonderful kind of dance which gives a great deal of pleasure okay and yes the young men and women get in their best traditional attire attire means dresses they get they all dress themselves in traditional attire and perform the dance with brisk steps brisk means very quick steps okay very quick steps and and hand movements the tune of traditional musical instruments including cymbals bamboo clappers and dhol which is similar to a drum which is similar to a drum dhol is quite similar to a drum and the peppa what is it peppa which is a wind instrument which is a wind instrument i'll show you okay which is a wind instrument made of buffalo horn buffalo horn it is made of buffalo horn okay 
and it adds different kinds of flavor to the dance as well as the atmosphere so the musical instruments showing the tradition and culture of assam used in the bihu festival they add a different kind of flavor to the dance and also to the atmosphere okay the songs have been handed down through many generations the songs the folk songs the folk dances they have been handed down through many generations okay and yes see what is it this is dhol you must have seen it also many times in wherever uh, while watching the programs in tv or while watching some live cultural programs also you must have seen this and this is what bamboo clapper see this is bamboo clapper and this is known as peppa this is known as peppa this instrument is a wind instrument and it is made of buffalo horn and these are the cymbals these are the cymbals known as cymbals okay yes so children see here i have listed out some of the difficult words along with their meanings you can note it down and show it to the teacher in your respective schools okay so region that is what does it mean area comprises comprises means consists of and contiguous contiguous means touching tied or very close to one another diverse diverse means different and enthusiasm enthusiasm means eagerness traditional traditional means something related to our tradition and culture and mighty mighty means what very strong very powerful okay and onset onset means arrival of at the arrival of and thriving thriving means a very successful one very great successful one and joyous joyous means very very happy very enjoying and melodious melodious means very smoothly sweet kind of music very smoothly sweet kind of music and attire attire means dresses that we used to wear on certain occasions like performing some dances or dramas and brisk brisk means what brisk is quick brisk means quick and handed down means hereditarily given to us generation after generation something which is hereditarily provided to us generation after generation okay and atmosphere atmosphere means the surrounding in which we live in the places all around us okay now children we will move to the questioning part this is the questioning part yes i have prepared some very easy questions and i am damn sure you are all well known about these answers so nothing to worry about it i am there to help you okay so these are the questions which you have to answer in one sentence only just one sentence okay so nothing to worry about it and let us go ahead and check it out yes children yes let me read the first question okay let me help you the north east region of india comprises of how many states consists of how many states yes any guesses yes eight states so your answer will start from here the north east region of india comprises of eight states okay now let us move to the second question which state is not a contiguous part of the north east region of india which state which state is that yes it is sikkim so how will you how will you write that yes sikkim is not a contiguous part of the north east region of india and most of the north east festivals of india are based on are based on what most of the north east festivals of india are based on agriculture they are based on agriculture okay and name any one of the major cultural festivals of assam any one of the major cultural festivals of assam yes 
इट इज नन अदर दैन बर्ड द वॉल फेमस एंड वेरी कलरफुल बिहू डैंस दैट इज द बिहू डैंस ओके एंड वेन इज रोंगाली बिहू सेलिब्रेटेड रोंगाली बिहू इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द मिड ऑफ अप्रील इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द मिड ऑफ अप्रील ओके एंड कंगाली बिहू इज अदरवाइजली नोन एज वॉट इट इज अदरवाइजली यू कैन राइट इन दिस वे कंगाली बिहू इज अदरवाइजली नोन एज काटी बिहू इट इज अदरवाइजली नोन एज काटी बिहू इट इज वेरी इजी चिल्ड्रेन देर इज नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट इट ओके एंड विच बिहू सिंबोलाइजेस द एंड ऑफ हार्वेस्ट सीजन येस इट इज द भोगाली बिहू दैट सिंबोलाइजेस द एंड ऑफ द हार्वेस्ट सीजन एंड give examples of some traditional musical instrument played in bihu dance give some examples yes any guesses yes cymbals dholes bamboo clappers pepa you can say you can write all these names okay so children there is a very sincere request from my side you please note down and write down the answers of these questions and show show your copies to the teachers in your own school okay and now yes your task is not yet over children you have to do something more now what is that yes home assignment nothing to worry about it a very small task i am going to give you what is that write a small paragraph on bihu write a small paragraph on bihu and in about 60 words means using 60 words you write from your own side what you understood and what kind of ideas you developed in your own mind regarding the festival of bihu so do the home assignment write in your copy and show the copy to your teacher okay so children Yes now what is it yes it is the time to take departure so children thank you and have a very wonderful day have a very enjoying day and stay blessed okay take care goodbye